Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to show you how to conveniently configure the Whitefly application server on how to least prevent some errors. And um, what I opened here, uh, this is uh, in editor, I opened this standalone full configuration. This is what, what my Whitefly is running right now, Whitefly 10.1. And all these subsystems can be directly configured in this file. Um, on the left side, there is a J console opened and uh, one, I would like to open the JBoss module. Um, or I would like to connect with the JBoss module process, which happens to be the Whitefly application server. So let's go with that. And by the way, there's nothing spe special with JConsole. You could use any JMX uh, uh, browser you like. And uh, there's a JBoss AS folder. And if we look briefly here, you, you will find all the subsystems, EGB3, uh, EE, this is the um, managed threat factories, those Java E concurrencies. But, um, Let's go to the stick with the EGB3. So if I go to the EGB3 and choose the attributes, we see here log systems exceptions, which is a uh, attribute here. And if we scroll down, there is a log system exceptions, which happens to be an element in the configuration. So and if I change it to false, it immediately changes the state to false. So it seems like, so it seems like the Whitefly actually listens to changes in JMX and immediately um, uh, pushes the changes to the configuration file. And uh, even more interesting, there is an in VM remote interface invocation passed by value. Yes, by value, true. And this is lacking. There is no such setting here. If I change it to false, it immediately uh, appeared here. So what it means is this: uh, the default setting was true, so it was uh, not stored in the configuration. But if I change it to false, it appeared in the configuration. So the JMX attributes are actually more complete than the, than the white flag configuration here. Um, so if you perform the changes, you should restart the application server or reload all the subsystems, which can be also done with the uh, with the JMX co console. But I think the safer way is just to restart the Whitefly. And these changes are persistent. So at the next star start, this uh, uh, XML configuration are going to be loaded. And these changes are going to be reflected in the JMX again. So thank you for watching and see you at Airhacks Munich or online. So bye.